हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आज हम बात करने वाले हैं वॉलमार्ट पाकथॉन की द एप्लीकेशन आर करेंटली ओपन सो व्हाट इज इट इट्स अ वे टू गेट अ जॉब और एन इंटर्नशिप अपॉर्चुनिटी विद वॉलमार्ट इट्स अ ग्रेट हैकथॉन यू कैन विन अ लॉट ऑफ कैश प्राइजेस एंड एवरीथिंग सो टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट इट एलिजिबिलिटी हाउ टू पार्टिसिपेट हाउ टू मेक अ डेमो वीडियो कैसे आइडिया ढूंढे एवरीथिंग वी हैव विद अस राहुल टुडे राहुल वाज वन ऑफ द यू नो ही वाज हिज टीम वाज अ सेकंड रनर अप इन वॉलमार्ट पाकथॉन लास्ट ईयर 2023 एंड आल्सो उसी के साथ-साथ ही इज करेंटली अ फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट एट Manipal University Jaipur he's a top contributor at Open Devin he's currently working at his startup that is Planwed and a uh, software as a service uh, that is Bang Socials so welcome rahul thank you for taking out your time for this video thank you amisha thank you for calling me right here and i would love to provide the information to my junior peeps and i'm all open to it so first of all tell me why should we participate in walmart sparkathon and what is it exactly Uh, I believe that Spakathon is not just another hackathon, but it should be uh, an experience that every candidate should have in their resume, or like, you know, should face how people are and how they are thinking of an idea. So it is just like any other hackathon, and uh, it consists of three to four rounds where you would be able to have an idea, implement it, and then uh, showcase it to the juries. So the main motive. should be the experience rather than emphasizing on the internship or the job interview being offered which is totally subjected to the hiring eligibility okay okay and what are the cash prizes and all sure so uh, as per our own batch for the third position it was to be 60000 almost and for the second rank it was about 90000 and for the first rank holder it was around 1.5 lakhs awesome so this time they have Uh, written that winning team stand a chance to receive up to two lakh ninety thousand rupees, and of course there'll be tax and all. So that's a different thing. But yeah, there there's a there's heavy cash prizes. Mm-hmm. So that's so first of all, who is eligible for this um, hackathon? Um, okay, so as far as our own batch, and I believe this will remain the same for this year as well. It is for the people who are the third year or the final year graduates from B. A. or uh bachelor of technology other than this the mtech final year uh, candidates are also eligible, eligible for this specific uh, hackathon so basically first and second year students on cannot apply so only mm-hmm. graduating batches uh, so basically if you are in be btech so first uh, third or fourth year or if you are you know in mtech then only final year right and mm-hmm. dual degree also same final year Yeah. So great. So uh, one thing that I would really have to add upon it is irrespective of whatever stream you have chosen in the in your M Tech or the B Tech. So consider that it would be in mechanical and still apply for the hackathon. Okay, that's great because a lot of times you know people from different branches don't get a chance. Mm. So what is the pro- program structure like? Uh, as we can see, you know there is as you've shared your screen. There's last date apply sixteenth August, then there's finalists, then there are winners. So But what does each of these dates mean, and what are the different rounds that are there? So yeah, as you could see, uh, the July fifteen is the date where the applications are open, and August sixteen is the last date where you would be able to uh, apply or uh, upload the upload your ideas. So in this uh, interval, you are open to think of an idea, implement it, make a or create a very good presentation on it, and also. uh a very important that you would uh it's initially create an video showcasing what you are thinking about and what should be the insights about it after this there will be two rounds that means the second round would be an elimination round and uh, people would be uh the people who or the teams who have qualified for it should provide a good overview of how they have implemented it and uh, also show a modification or improvements over the idea that they have pitched after this there is a third round which is the final round and this means there will be juries and they will be asking you about uh, why do you think about this uh, this idea why did you come up with this certain specific idea it is very important and uh, a very good tip that you make it very crystal clear and very simple for the juries to understand and make things very simple very intuitive and also add numbers along with the sources so it is very crucial regarding that after the finalists that have been announced you would be asked to come to bangalore 
and you will be awarded with uh, certain you know monetary benefits or like an award so that's september 2024 okay so final is how many people went to the final for the first round it was almost about 8000 teams that qualified for it and after that in the final round which was the third round in the grand jury round there were top 8 teams and out of that top 3 teams were selected as the winners of walmart sparkathon converse 2023 and even after that the top 3 were uh, ranked according to what idea they have pitched got it got it okay so it was it's a tough competition here yeah so uh, yeah coming to the hackathon themes as you can see there's data supply chain emerging tech future of retail so can you tell a little about all of these and which one did you guys choose uh sure so there are four domains as you could see the very first is data that means you have to be data creating a data intensive application or like having a idea that brings data integrations and do something with data the second is sup- supply chain this could be you know logistics or like uh, uh transfer of uh, some um, products from one place to another the third is emerging tech that means this could be ar vr or like new innovations that are happening around technology the fourth is future of retail that means you know what could be brought in the retail store what could be done so that this improves the you know the customers experience of uh, going into the shops so these are the four things or the four themes that totally elaborate themselves and one word here uh, you cannot submit multiple ideas so even if you want to submit an idea for all of them you can only submit one idea so be careful which one you know select think and just submit one idea yeah. cool uh, and what was your idea if you would be willing to share that so, so our idea was mainly emphasized on supply chain that means the logistics or whatever so the main crux was the title that we have formed which was next best location that means we were finding the next location for the manufacturers or the retailers to open their stores since walmart does not have their own stores they are totally focusing on the flipkart manufacturers so we decided to integrate data and different other parameters like you know education uh, population and several more in order to decide and determine which were the best location to open a manufacturer store or like you know whatever they wanted to open store for so we uh, went through with the supply chain team okay. so guidelines if you can uh, so yeah so it says that select a theme describe the problem statement explain the solution upload a demo video so what would be your uh, you know tips for that and where did you get i guys get this idea from because for me if i am like i don't know about walmart like i need to study but how do you how did you get this idea what were the sources you referred to and so on so as for us uh, we were actually uh, the last i believe that we were the last team to post a submission on the final date so then this i believe uh, there are various sources that you could get an idea and how to think or come up with an idea there could be the walmart uh, own blogs the second is walmart's own official site uh, since walmart has a uh, linkage with flipkart you should also you know f- consider the factors that flipkart are facing this could be the problems like uh, logistics mainly the logistics uh, there could be uh, the places you know the day to day activities of the logistics will give you a great insight about what people or the companies like this are facing so we went with these and google is the best place that you would be able to understand and have a very great depth of why or what to focus on so we went with that but just in case you wanted to know about our implementation or like what we were thinking about so it was about finding the next best location that means you know if if walmart wanted to open a retail store or like a manufacturer store where would they open so we worked on that idea by providing uh, or working over our data that we have scraped from internet and it was linked from different factors that had various primary keys so we were able to build or have 50000 rows of data and from that we try to uh, do an analytics or like ml thing and we we were able to come up with a very good accuracy over that somehow there were some other factors that we totally fo- emphasized on but i mean that can be avoided other than this uh, the problem statement and solution these two factors are very important and you really have to 
uh, push these with some certain numbers and uh, to be honest uh, i believe that we were being qualified uh, in every round it is because of the reason that we were implementing or we were emphasizing on lots of these numbers that were very crucial for the walmart other than this we also uh, emphasized a lot on the demo video because we you know we <laughs> we had a retake of almost about 50 times so you know these are certain things that you really have to work upon and this will surely this will surely guarantee you a success over the qualification or being the top three in the walmart hackathon okay and for the idea they also know that walmart has their own youtube channel so there also they uh, upload the previous year you know uh, presentation so that you should definitely look at because those are the winning presentations so i'll put all the links in the description and coming to the next thing uh the demo video or the solution so what are your tips there like if sure so uh you know i'll give you very good uh you know tip is that uh pitch to random people as many as you can because it will give you an idea about are they able to understand the fact what you are saying what is what is your idea and try to ask uh, try to tell them or ask them very difficult questions from you so you get an idea about how you know general people are thinking about your idea presentation uh, presentation or the implementation of your idea so these are some relevant things that i would totally emphasize on other than this put numbers and uh, other could be make a very good presentation not more than 10 to 12 slides and add visuals not textual format try to you know showcase it with your uh, uh, you know whatever you're saying showcase it with that and yeah i would uh, i would say that these would be the uh, the crisp of how we are able to you know conquer the converge walmart hackathon okay so adding numbers as in like uh, so show the impact like if you think that okay this will help improve walmart's say deliver you know something sometime by x person so put that percentage based on of course your estimation it's you can't be sure but that is important okay and visuals are important because no one wants to read a ppt you know it has a lot of text no one's interested so if you can make something if you can make a prototype and show that that will be the best but if you can explain your idea passionately probably you know use some animation also i would say or if you if you have a team then you know you can probably show your whole face but look text don't keep just keep all the text and all the presentation like you boring corporate presentation that is not what we want we want something more fun and more catchy because we have so many teams there are thousands of people applying so if you want to be noticed you need to have a good idea and a good presentation too sure so just for reference uh, i mean uh, you could uh, go totally see my video i have uh, added or you could see over my medium blog i have added all of the all the things you could get a reference about uh, the video presentation or the demonstration okay so i'll put all the links in the description uh and then uh, coming to the question how does walmart choose winners for the challenge to be honest uh, we were uh, ranking ourselves on the basis of the criteria for choosing the winners the innovation the creativity and the scalability we were to be ranked as third onto this because it, the our solution was very simple but yet intuitive and very practical for all of the big companies out there in the field of logistics the second is technical feasibility uh, we were very confident on this because we were using the modern tech stack and this is something that we were totally confident on this could be the ml data analytics you know we also try to uh, implement or showcase the the analytics over a web dev or the web ui ux interface so that's all that's also you know boosted our uh, confidence that we would become winners the third is impact and benefit to walmart this is very crucial and very important make sure that you showcase ideas or implement ideas that are in advantage to the walmart we showcased the idea that were totally relevant to the walmart because they were losing a lot more money over the manufacturing units they were not totally linked to each other and they were uh, losing some kind of a money which were totally high for them the fourth is quality of proof of concept and demo this is also very important this means that you know you try to implement the idea of whatever you pitched showcase some implementation showcase that if you have worked on to this specific idea you would have i mean created it at a very good level and this could be used by the walmart itself uh, coming to the 
coming to an important question uh, so full time or internship opportunities do all the teams get that chance to get interviews or only the top 3 teams or how is it so it's like uh, the top 3 uh, teams gets the guarantee of having the internship as well as the full job interview you would be able to acquire the you know selection rounds you would be qualified for giving the interview and it will be a direct interview to the you know uh, technical rounds that will be the interview round you don't have to do any kind of a coding round or whatever you will be have a one to one uh, call over the sds of the walmart so but even into that uh, there will be a elimination round and not everyone gets the guarantee of getting the job or the interview uh, our own uh, year the there were two individuals who were in the you know uh, the 2025 batch so they were guaranteed the internship or there were only two of them so they were totally guaranteed the internship other than this uh, for the full time there were like almost about seven to eight individuals and uh, not every one one of them were guaranteed to have the job they were you know eliminated from one of the rounds okay so yeah your selection is subject to if you are able to clear the interview so it's not like you've cleared the hackathon you also yeah. need to give the dsa interview so that's there uh, and any final tips uh, because we have talked about how to give an idea how to you know make a demo video but any tips in general which you think will help someone at least get to the final if not win sure so you know this is a very uh, funny side that me and my colleague pradiman singh know it is that we didn't take a stress on you know that we have to win the hackathon or whatever we were actually the last a team to post a submission on it so don't take stress you know just do it for the experience sake and you would be able to you know just come up with a very good solution and it is something that you have to solve or like uh, you know come up with an idea when you do not take it seriously you know we came up with an idea that was very intuitive very simple and we tried to implement it in such a way that it made sense it made sense to the juries and we were able to have a very good success over the consecutive rounds so i mean don't take stress be very simple make good ppts work on your presentation skills work on the visuals work on the numbers these are the crucial aspects that will guarantee you the success on the each specific rounds okay so even if you don't win it's a good experience to have yeah, so with that thank you so much rahul for your time uh it was great talking to you and i'm hoping this video will be useful for everyone who listens to it thank you amisha